fans. How are we doing today? Hi, Victoria. How are you? How was your holiday? Hi, Prana. I haven't seen you in a while. Did you guys enjoy your 4th of July? Oh, it's like a shadow. That shadow right there on that cheekbone. Always, always feel like there's a bump on my face or something. Makes me wonder what's going on. Hi, just a mom. How are you? Did you enjoy your Tuesday? How is she doing, Prana? Is she doing okay? For those of you, um, just an FYI, being as the post office didn't run today, orders will go out um, tomorrow. They should. I'm hoping I can get out of the office or work from home so I can work on you guys' stuff. And those of you in here who have ordered, thank you so much. I appreciate your support. It really means the world to me. Um, because those repeat orders just lets me know you're enjoying um, what you're buying and it's working that's good no sweet pea you're just just got here girlfriend just got here I'm kind of getting things prepped for what we're gonna do today um, I'm kind of picking up cutting off cutting some balls I'm cutting some balls here well I'm cutting them off the off the branches and um, it's my fault I've had this herb this plant matter for uh, for a while now when I say a while beginning of last week and I'm just now dealing with it so my bad Okay, so I did a video last week, I guess it was, on the sweet gum tree. So the sweet gum tree is the tree that has all these little goodies on it, right? These are fresh. You'll see a bunch of them laying on the ground like this. Still a little bit green, but it's brown. We don't want those. I hate that when that happens. Oh, there we go. We don't want those. We want the green bowls. You want the, the same here. It's still a little bit green, but it has the brown on it. We want the good green stuff. So I've picked off the older ones. The entire tree, the gumball tree, the entire tree, including the seeds, the roots, the bark, um, the leaves, the twigs, all of it's medicine, actually. But I normally just focus on the gumball balls themselves. And as I would said, you want the green. So what are these things good for? They are the precursor to Tamiflu. They have shishimic acid in them. Um, which is beneficial in treating cold flu symptoms. And this is Mother Nature's healing properties for the cold and flu. So the other day, last week, I did that video, and I had some, and I broke them up, and I put them into some high-proof vodka, and it's going to sit for six weeks but in the meantime, I found some more. And you can never have enough medicine, right? You just can never have enough. We need to share it with our friends and family. So I'm going to add this into a quart jar, add the product 
the mark that I have here and we're going to do some more. See if I can get you guys down low enough. Can you guys see okay? I probably will, depending on how much yield I have. Um, I have a meat tenderizer. We're just going to hammer these open. This really isn't going to cut them, so to speak, but it is going to smush them to where I have more surface area. The juices are flowing in there. Now, let me show you this one. It looked like this compared to this one. Oh, no. Okay. So let's take a look at this one. Now let's take a look at this one. It's still green. This is the seed stage. So when you bust one of these open that's in the seed stage, you get seeds. And that's fine. This is medicine. So we're going to go ahead and use these too. You're going to find the hall in the center. We just want to crack that open too. So I'm just busting these open. I'm making this stuff. So John's like, what's all that pounding? So we're getting this all open. Seed and all. I might want to get ice cream. I'm on live. No. Oh. John's wanting ice cream. He'll survive. I know I don't need no ice cream. He's a bad influence on me. Guys, I'm just going to say, he really is. He really is. And he's a diabetic. He don't need it either. Maybe he should go to Dairy Queen by himself and eat it before he gets home. Does that sound like a plan? Because Angie don't need it. The seeds, I'm going to be honest, guys, they get messy. I've got little seeds flying everywhere. And as I mentioned, the stems, everything. I'm going to cut that brown part off, though. I do not put that into my garbage jar holder. You could chop these up really fine if you wanted to, but I just normally bust them open. All right, hold on one second. Let me get a funnel. Let me let you guys see what this looks like. Okay. Up you go. Okay. It is called the gumball tree. It's nature's version of Tamiflu. You just chop up your balls. I have chop up your balls. <laughs> um, chop the balls up, squish them, and um, make a tincture out of them. So I've at the stage to where I've squished them up. They're flattened. I am going to pick apart them a little bit. Yeah, you squish your balls. It was funny at work. I was, you know, not, I'm like 5'3", maybe, and uh, 
I couldn't reach up. So I was like taking things and smacking at the tree. And uh, they're called gumballs. It's the gumball tree. The gumball tree. I actually have a video that I posted last week. Since you got here, guys got here late, it shows a picture of the actual gumballs. And it's walking you through the process that I'm doing now. You guys just really missed seeing the gumballs in their original state. <clears throat> Remember I told you I had a trash bucket here. So these are ones that I did not use. They want You want them to be green. These are brown. A brownish green. I still wouldn't want to use them. Here's another one. So, we've got all of our goodness here. And remember what I said. The seeds are even um, medicine. And I showed you guys the difference between them. So, we are going to put these into a jar. I need to put my new uh, camera stand together is what I need to do. I bought a new one since my other one was dropping you guys all the time. Alright, and again, seeds. I just want you guys to know if, if it's so seedy ones, use them. Use them, use them, use them. Whole plant's medicine. Here we go. This is the one that I did last week. High proof alcohol. Um, I had questioned if some of those, because it was um, seeds in there too, if it was gonna soak up more of the alcohol, but it didn't. So I'm going to, it's a wide mouth pint jar. I'm gonna add it into a wide mouth quart jar. So I'm gonna use the same lid. I'm gonna use the same press and seal. Again, same size mouth of lid. Just put the press and seal or the wax paper, coffee filter, whatever you're gonna put on there to stop the corrosion. We're going to add this in here. I'm going to add more alcohol. You want a high proof alcohol? All I have right now, I really would like to, I wish I would have had like 150 or 190. It's what you really should use. I'm going to fill this up to where it's covered. And then tomorrow I'll go get a higher proof alcohol and top it off with that. It's not necessary to have that. I used 100 proof, 100 proof is fine. But because of the fact it is a fresh plant matter, I, my preference, and you really should use a higher proof alcohol. All right, so we're gonna put this lid back on, shake it. Need add a little bit more. It's not all covered. See? Not entirely covered. Another way you can check that if you've already put your wax paper on or anything like that and you want to check to see if it's covered. I'll show you here in just a second. It's an easy way to do it so you don't have to retake everything off. All right, so you press and seals on there, shake it, check it from the bottom. That way you don't have to take everything back off if you don't have to. But everything's covered. So in six weeks, I'm going to have homemade Tamiflu that you can strain, then bottle, and wintertime's right around the corner, friends. I hate to say that. I hate it. It just seems like we just got here to this beautiful weather, and it's already... We're already talking about cold and flu season right around the corner. But it's a reality, isn't it? Do you guys have any questions at all?
You guys are easy to please, man. Or you guys have just been watching my videos on how to make tinctures for so long. You guys already know what the next steps are. You guys already know what to do. And you just don't have any questions anymore. Yes, they are outside. So I would take a dropper, or some people call it a pipette. Um, I would probably, for a child, I would probably just start out with like a half a dropper and um, three times a day. And, um, well, welcome, Jojo. Glad to have you around. And, um, you got a little mark on my face. For an adult, I would do two to three droppers um, three times a day. Keep in mind, friends, when it comes to doing herbal medicine, not only your age, being a child, comes into a factor, but it's really about your weight. Um... A man that weighs 250 pounds versus an adult woman that weighs 110, their dosage is going to be a little bit different. So it's really hard for me to give you the exact, and I try to express that here um, when we're talking about medicine. Um, but the average adult, you know, if you're 150 pounds, you know, um, good medium number to go with, I guess. Uh, let's see, how much would you take when you're sick? So yeah, that. Um, glycerides you take more of because a glyceride is made with food grade glycerin and distilled water. More food grade glycerin than there is water. You don't want to take food grade glycerin 100% by itself because it can irritate your esophagus or possibly if you have a sensitive esophagus, it could burn it. So you always want to make sure that you go with a good percentage a food grade glycerin to distilled water and you want distilled water um, filtered water could be okay again it depends on what kind of filtration system you have um, you don't want chlorine or you don't want fluoride or copper or anything like that that they throw in there you want it distilled um, so six weeks is your process and you'll have some really really good medicine now then, one thing that I have been thinking about, because I'm going to go and collect more gumballs, of course, and make more of this, I already, I just strained a batch of bronchial tincture, bronchial support tincture that I made that is, oh my God, it's like the mother of all bronchial tinctures as far as I'm concerned, because... I did not focus on just lung support, okay? When you get the flu or when you get bronchitis, you have other symptoms. Do you really want to take a different tincture for each symptom? I'm, I'm not catching up here. Yes, I've been learning the last couple of years. Well, good. You have to consider the weight. You really do. It's a very important factor. Of course, you know, along with medicines you may be on, and on every one of my bottles also, it says do a patch test. You, I don't care who you buy plant medicine from, but you should always do a patch test because are you really consuming gumballs all the time? Do you know if you're allergic to gumballs? I didn't the first time I took them. And it's better to do a... Oh, hi, Lindsay, how are you? Um, it would be better to find out if you have an allergy on a patch test on your skin versus consuming it, and who knows what would happen. So we always have to be mindful of that. Children, you know, adults, even your animals, if you are, you know, using herbs with animals you know do a patch test on the nose that's a good area to do it the underside right here because this is a rougher area on on them so that's a good spot to do that I'm doing good thank you thank you destiny for that panda destiny what's your middle name 
if you don't mind me asking. I'm kind of curious. My daughter, my granddaughter's name was Destiny Marie, and her birthday was what's today? It was June 28th was her birthday, and she would have been 18 years old, but she had passed away. So, can you believe that, Nikki? Destiny would have been 18. 18? She'd have been 18. Oh my gosh. Yeah, she passed away um, when. Uh, she was born. She was born alive, but yeah. Anyway, good stuff. You always do a patch test, um, but I'm talking about the bronchial tincture. I took so many good herbs, not only for lung health. We all know Mullen's a good herb for lung health, right? Um, but so is Grindelia. Let me tell you about Grindelia. Grindelia is still listed in the Russian Pharmacopoeia for asthma treatment. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Um, my daughter, you know, we're always on the same page. And she's like, oh, she would have been 18. It's like, yeah. Um, but Grindelia is still in the Russian pharma pharmacopoeia for asthma. It was used even in the United States years ago for asthma treatment. And let's think about that. They used it, not herbalist, but doctors used it for asthma. Do they use mullen? Do doctors use mullen for asthma? Nope. So, in my tincture, I have mullen and grandelia getting two powerhouses to help with that lung support. And I'm doing a live tomorrow with Posh Mama, and we are going to talk about lung health. And, of course, I'll be talking about the bronchial tincture. So if you're going to be on the live tomorrow, you're going to hear this stuff tomorrow. So I hope I don't bore you tomorrow. Um, but it also has in it marshmallow root, which was double extracted aside separately from the, uh, the rest of the bronchial tincture. Because, as we know, marshmallow root has to be double extracted to get that mucilagen, okay? So I did its own extraction over here, and then when I grabbed that mucilage doing that extraction, I then added that to the tincture because we need to do a double extraction with marshmallow root. Marshmallow root helps expel mucus, okay? It's wonderful for expelling mucus. It is um, at 7 o'clock tomorrow, just mom, Eastern Standard Time. Oh, good. Good, Lindsay. Make sure you, uh, after you dry it, you still, to get the effects that you want, you'd have to do a cold water extraction. All right, so it has marshmallow in it. What other symptoms do we have? We have sinus issues like crazy, guys. You get the stuffiness in your sinus, the drainage into the back of your neck, that phlegm that you just can't get out of your neck, your neck, your throat, right? I put stinging nettle in it, which is a natural antihistamine. I also put Mormon tea in it, which helps clear up the sinuses. All this is in one tincture, guys. What else do you have? You have aches and pains, right? We have catnip in there to help you relax, to help you sleep when you're achy and you're not feeling good. It has catnip in there. It also has lemongrass, which helps soothe the throat, the itchiness. It has wild cherry bark in there for your coughing. Wild cherry bark is wonderful for our coughing. Remember those old, I don't remember the brand of them, they were like 70s, 80s. Um, the wild cherry cough drops. Why do you think they always say wild cherry? It comes from a spinoff. I doubt if they have wild cherry bark in them. But it's a spinoff of the old days from wild cherry bark. It's known to help your coughs. Um, it also has elecampane in it. Elecampane is a wonderful herb at easing a dry cough. You know, where you're just not productive, it's going to help with that. 
I've also put in, okay, so we got the sinuses. I included Irish sea moss too. Irish sea moss is a mucus eliminator. So not only with the mullen, the grandelia, you have Irish sea moss in there that's going to help eliminate the mucus. And it does it in the whole body. So it's going to help those other herbs in making that productive cough to get rid of that mucus out of there. It has a lot of other things in it. Well, I don't want to bore you guys with it and you guys are listening to the whole spiel tomorrow. But this, imagine if we added that to the next batch with all those other herbs in there. I will sell this separately, but I am con. Oh, another thing that um, clove is also in the um, bronchitis, bronchitis tincture. So this good stuff, I'm going to be making more as I get more gumballs. You love the lemongrass, lemon balm, cleavers made of cold brew. Yeah, all of them are good for you. The lemongrass, lemon balm, lemon balm is a nice... Um, Lemon balm, let me tell you, a good thing for lemon balm, it's an adaptogen. Do any of you guys out here know what an adaptogen is? Put a red heart if you know what an adaptogen is when it comes to an herb. I feel a little bit sticky being outside today. Okay, well, an adaptogen is an herb that helps your body adapt adapt to instead of getting into the medical terms of it it helps your body adapt to life to stress it helps your body's flight or fight mode to where you're releasing a lot to where the hypothalamus is telling the pituitary gland and the thyroid gland to release all the telling the then it's telling the adrenal glands to release all these hormones because the adrenal glands don't work by themselves they have a boss and their boss is actually the hypothalamus which is deep 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 into the brain um, your pituitary gland it's deep into the brain also and it not only um, handles a lot of hormones but namely the growth hormone um, we all know about the thyroid, but the hypothalamus is the is the daddy of them all. He's going to instruct them um, what to do. And your adrenal glands sit on your kidneys. Um, each kidney, you know, has an adrenal gland on there. <coughs> My stepfather, <coughs> he passed away in 1995. And they found out that he found out by going in to have a routine foot surgery that he had lung cancer. And, of course, when they did a biopsy, they're like, no, this is renal cancer. Let's go in and let's find out where this came from. Technology wasn't as good in 1995 as it is now. But, anyways, they determined that it started with the kidney. And so you have two kidneys, right? And on top of each one of them, you've got your adrenal glands that sit on top of there. Well, the adrenal glands give you energy. Uh, think the Incredible Hulk, okay? Um they get that boost of adrenaline, adrenal glands, adrenaline, okay? So that's where your energy comes from. And also the cortisol hormones are released from there. So it's doing, those glands are doing a few things. Well, his kidney, the mother tumor as they called it, was over here, okay? And this one, this adrenal gland was free though of cancer that was sitting over there, but the kidney itself had it. Over here, this one, this adrenal gland had cancer, but the kidney was good over here. And that had, that cancer had spread up to the lungs. And back in 1995, uh, there really wasn't much they could do. And the doctor told when we went to see the doctor for the results that he said, my dad's like, what do we do? What treatment are we going to do? And he goes, why would I make a sick man sicker? Go home, cry, get your affairs in order, and live the rest of your life. Make it, go go live the rest of your life. Enjoy the rest of your life. So, the reason I brought this on is because 
a few things. My mother, organic food was not on the market in 19. They gave him six months to live, by the way, and he died in 95. He was diagnosed in 1992. 1992 organic food was not there. We didn't have Aldi's where you go buy organic, which now anymore isn't really organic. You know what I'm saying? So there was a, there still is, this health food store is here in town owned by an RN who is a wonderful, wonderful, knowledgeable individual about natural health care. And she has a health food store and it's all natural. Her name's Cheryl. She's great. Um, she's helped me with a few things on surgeries I've had a, that I've had with, and I have antibiotic resistance, and I got an infection, and I couldn't fight the infection regardless of even getting intravenous uh, antibiotics three times a week at the emergency room. Still went kicking it. She helped me to death. Anyway, my mom would have to go to her shop to buy any organic stuff, right? Um, my mom was determined she was going to fight this for him. They were going to beat it. So she got together with that lady at the health food store. He drank barley green every day. Freeze-dried barley green. You might know them now as microgreens. Well, this back in 1992. People weren't drinking microgreens back then. Um, specifically the barley. Freeze-dried barley has a wonderful effect on fighting the C word. Carrot juice, organic carrot juice. He drank, you remember the little milk containers in school, you know, the little mini pints or whatever? He drank one of those organic every day. They gave him six months to live. He lived three years and he was not in pain. The one thing that he did, well, he was in pain there at the end. I can't say he wasn't in pain. He was in pain at the end. But his biggest complaint was because the adrenal glands give you your energy, that adrenaline, his calcium levels. Guys, you hear a lot of talk about calcium right now. The D, D3 and the K2 and all that stuff, right? His calcium levels got too high to where it starts shutting down the energy and the adrenaline coming from his, um, sorry, it got too low. Calcium got too low to where the adrenals weren't working. So he would have to go in the hospital and have a calcium treatment. They had to put calcium into his body. But anyway, kind of interesting there on how those adrenal glands, the hypothalamus, and all those things, all they all work together. Yep, I, I grow poke root, as a matter of fact. It's very good topically for uh, for things. Um, good salves. Um, and I don't remember where I was going with that. But, you know, herbs are a wonderful thing to help us and to educate ourselves on and they really do they do a great job of things so but yeah Lindsay poke root's good it's good topically um it's good with it's actually pretty good with eczema psoriasis rashes um even if you have like psoriasis in the in the scalp area, it's really good for that. <laughs> I was wondering if you got it, girl. I'm glad you got it. Good. Yeah, um, I've never used it internally. I've heard it can be very risky. It's kind of like up there in the area of comfrey or arnica, you know. I, mean, I, I just would never ingest anything like that. I know I saw that in a banana. I saw that and I'm like, well, she can compare the two against each other. It has the same herbs in it. Um, it's just new oils. Some very mwah, wonderful oils in that um, Monroe Plus. 
So I'm waiting on feedback from everybody before I decide if I'm going to actually do the Monroe Plus. Um, if I don't have positive feedback, there's no sense in going because the Monroe effect already works. Um, I personally like the oils. Um, I love the way that the prototype makes my skin feel when I'm putting it on, when I wake up in the morning. Um, yeah, I really do like it. So... Oils usually last about a year. You have a small jar of red clovers. What can you make with them? Red clover, you can use it as a tea. It's good for osteoporosis. If you wanted to make a fermented red clover, um, it's been proven to cure osteoporosis. It's good with hormones. It's red clover is very good for women's health in general. Yeah, you want to keep it out of light. It doesn't need to be cool. I keep mine in my Kartrashian room. Um, one in the bathroom. So, no. It'd be cooling for you, um, you know, to have it cold. But I use the Monroe Effect after I've washed my face and I've opened my pores. So I've used as hot of water as I possibly can stand on a washcloth and I put it over my face to open them up after I've washed my face. And then what my face is still damp, it's not sopping wet, but it's damp. And then I put the Monroe effect on um, and just let it soak in. Sometimes I'll do a, a toner afterwards. Sometimes I don't. It's kind of like, you know, if I'm in the mood. Um, and then I just sleep in it. And then in the morning, I wash my... I only wash... I wash my face at night. I, if I don't wash my face at night, I wash it in the morning. I do not wash my face twice a day. I only do it once a day. And I do not use soap. I don't use any type of soap on my face. Um... But in the morning, if you've washed your face the night before, or if you wash your face twice a day, that's entirely up to you. But after you wash your face, you would want to um, put the Monroe Effect on. Of course, watch how much you put on if you're using makeup. My sister doesn't put it on in the morning. She says it works like a prime. <laughs> I don't wear makeup, so I can't say this. So, um, okay. Let me give you the down low here, girl. Monroe effect at night you go through your routine wash your face whatever put a hot rag on right um, put the Monroe effect on go to sleep okay when you wake up in the morning you can wash your face that's fine but she's like me she doesn't wash her face in the morning she washes it at night she says She'll go ahead and use the skin tightening roller ball, or if you ha she also uses a puffy eye roller ball. She'll do that, pat that in, you know, get it down in there. And that's another thing. When you're putting on any oils for your face, friends, just doing this, you're just getting the layer, guys. You're just getting the layer. You want to pat that in. You want to push it into those pores. These oils do not clog your pores. Coconut can close your can clog your pores because the molecules are larger. But you do this under the eye, you want to do it very gently. Why you do that? You're pushing it in there. You're getting the blood going. The blood co coming will help with collagen production also. Probably better in case people put makeup. But you wash in morning and night. People put makeup, let it breathe and let the skin work. Yeah, I don't I don't at night. I mean, I don't during the day. I wash my face in the morning. And the, my God, Angie, shut up. I wash my face at night. My sister does the same thing. She says she'll do the wand, you know, under eye, skin tightening, whatever. And then she'll put, let, tap that in. And then when she puts her makeup on, that Monroe effect is still there from the night before. And she says her makeup just 
slides right on her face like a primer. She said she even used a foundation she didn't like previously because of how it went on. And then when she put it on with after using that Monroe effect the night before, just went right on and it blended very well. Uh, sorry, we have limited text type. Hard to put everything at once. That's all right. Don't worry about it. So anyways, friends, um, I personally use it day and night um, because I don't wear any makeup. So I want to keep my face hydrated because I'm on a mission. Y'all know I'm on a mission. And I'm in a mission to get rid of the, the wrinkles and stuff. But I got to work on these and this one on the bridge of my nose. Still working on that. Um, it's trial and error. Error, You know, I've had a few different plays with this, trying to figure out how to get rid of this. Not having any luck. I'm going to try chest, horse chestnut oil is my next try. Um, the rosacea. It's just very frustrating. Uh, you don't wear any makeup anymore except eyeliner. That's me. Yeah. Good. Good, good. Yeah, I put it on in the morning. Um, I'm, And you know that Monroe effect, too. Just an FYI, friends. For those of you who have bought the Monroe effect, for those of you who are trying prototypes of the Monroe effect, you can make a face toner, okay? Even if you did not buy the Monroe effect... You can make yourself like a an herbal tea, chamomile. You could use hibiscus. You could use lavender tea, okay? Calendula tea. Make a tea out of it. Let it cool down. Save that water. Strain it. Save the water. Take that water and turn it into a toner. You can take an essential oil that you like with a carrier oil so let's say what I do is I've taken a rose and hibiscus tea before and I've added cacay oil to it or the one I'm using now has cacay oil in it and then I added whatever ever essential oils I wanted to it and I'll add a little bit of glycerin to it to make it a longer shelf stable because if you don't add the glycerin it's only going to last about a week if you put it in the refrigerator it'll last two weeks but I usually keep mine in the bathroom so I add that glycerin to as a natural preservative and you just shake it each time and you spray it and you're getting those like let's say you added the Monroe effect to a tea with a little bit of glycerin you're constantly keeping that on your face and it's hydrating in those those oils and everything are able to work. And I've missed some questions. What do you do for under eye bags and circles? Um, good oils for that are going to be... Oh, let me get my jar of goodies out here. Of course, your rose hip's always going to be a good choice. But... I would use a good fig oil, a fig seed oil, um, that would really help. You could add essential oils in there, or you could use a tamanu, um, is very good also as a carrier oil. Then you could throw in some essential oils, coffee, coffee essential oil is going to be good. Now, let's say you don't have the money to go spend on a bunch of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Okay, hold on. Let me... I'm getting lost here. Well, thank you very much. Mostly a name. Um, all natural, guys. You make for yourself works for rose water, green tea, caffeine. That's what it is, girlfriend. Sodium... Hyaluronic and two vitamins and vitamin C. Good for you. That's a good mixture. That's a really, really, that's a really, really good one. Hold on. I'm going to, I'm going to screenshot you. 
I got it. Thank you. I might try that. I do not look like the picture of what? What picture? Michelle. What you mean, Shale? What don't I look like? The picture of, you kind of cut off, sweetheart. It's a gel put on eyeliner in the morning. Yeah, I'll definitely try that. I've been, I don't want any, John. I told you I didn't want any. Um, I've been trying to think of a good texture and ingredients for a gel. Um, I'd love to be able to make a, um, a cucumber gel, honestly. I don't think Michelle's going to answer me. You're not, uh, it's a gel, I not have dark circles or bags. I really don't have a lot of bags or dark circles. You were supposed to be on Posh Mama tomorrow at 7 o'clock, but your picture doesn't match my face, your face. Which picture are you talking about? Which one, honey? I was John got the ice cream. Did you notice I was kind of aggravated with him because he went and got it. My profile. Oh, I have dark hair, honey. I've since quit dyeing my hair. I don't dye my hair at all anymore, honey. I used to have brown hair. It's still brown on the end. I quit dyeing my hair a long time ago. COVID time. I guess, and that was taken before COVID. Yeah, go to my Instagram. Scroll down on my Instagram. Psh, shoot! Some good pictures back in them days with the dark hair. That's what my sister is saying. She goes, you know what, Angie? If you would dye your hair, you wouldn't look so old. <laughs> I said, I know, but I'm not dyeing my hair anymore. Uh, <laughs> and I hope you love it. Yeah, we're going to be okay. Yeah, it's definitely... It's, uh... It's definitely me, Michelle. Definitely me. I'm older. I'm older. I... That profile picture, I guess, was not um, an important thing because I put videos on my um, page all the time of me. You know, that, I don't know how long I've had TikTok. I've probably had TikTok before COVID. I don't know. My grandson and I used to do those, you know, when you do the, you remember that thing? The, the, what was it called? The wow. Okay. Anyway. So anyway, um. What, so yes, tomorrow we're going to go live uh, with Posh Mama. I feel it's going to go very well. Um, it's always good to share information with her followers. Um, and to get different, you know, perspectives on things. Um, and bring things to the table. Because we all learn every day. I do not know everything, friends. I'll tell you that in a minute. Just like, you know, uh, she shared a really good um, face gel, which I'm looking forward to trying. So at 7 o'clock tomorrow, and uh, it's going to be lung care, which she'll have things to bring to the table to share about lung care. And then, um, you know, I'll have some ideas about that. I just kind of threw that out there to her as an idea. Because honestly, I was just kind of struggling of ideas. Um, it was kind of like on the spot. What should we do? And I'm like, oh, long couch sounds good. So. Anyway. 
Um, I think that's about it. Friends, anybody have any last minute questions? It is 4th of July. No, it's at 7 o'clock tomorrow evening. Wednesday, 2 o'clock. A promo code? Oh, honey, I'm the owner. I don't, I don't really have a... Actually, there's a sale right now. Oh, you probably aren't a subscriber, are you? What was the what was the code, guys, for the sale? Uh, USA twenty. Was that what it was? Anybody on here remembers? Yeah, you gotta subscribe for the code, sweetheart. Um, yeah, because I, I make them, so I'm not, I don't really get any, I don't get any affiliate kickback to give you a code, honey. Um, but if you subscribe, I'll definitely, when I have sales, I send out codes, um, things like that. So, hey, Rosanna, can't wait for the long to be worried about your son and... This era shut. Yeah, it's it's hard. I don't do a lung lung cleanse. Um, I just do bronchial tinctures for bronchitis and things like that. They really helped my sister last winter. She um, she probably should have really been dead. She should have gone to the hospital and the doctor sooner, but she didn't. Um, but they kept her alive until she got there. That's because she was too stubborn. Um, but yeah, Mullen. Mullen's in there. Grindelia. Yeah, I went through the whole list. We've got a blockbuster of a party. It's a party of herbs in that thing. Um, Grindelia works just as well, if not better, than Mullen does, actually. I was telling everybody earlier, it's still in the Russia Pharmacopoeia to be used as asthma. They still use it to this day. We well, don't use. They don't even use um, Mullen in Western medicine here. So you can scroll all the way down to the page. Yep, eucalyptus. Yeah, Mullen's. I've got some Mullen in the backyard. I'm just waiting to get it. Um, I'm growing some Grindelia. But it has a lot of good herbs. I'll discuss them tomorrow during the live um, in detail what they're for, why I decided to put them in my tincture. Um, I'm sure we'll touch upon a lot of different things. Um, she mentioned today in one of her videos we're going to talk about stuff. I did send her out a promo package. Um, it was there yesterday, so hopefully she had time to go get it. If not, hopefully she can get it tomorrow. That way she'll have them on, on hand during the live. And um, I have a lot of single tinctures on the site, friends. Um, I'm trying to think what's in stock and what's not. I, I apologize. I don't know off the top of my head. But if it's a single tincture, it's only $20. Um, I do have some glycerites that are singles which are uh, child friendly and those if they're a single tincture they're only twenty dollars if you deal with combination tinctures the price goes up a little bit because I'm there's more t more herb in them um, and then the mushroom tincture um, it's called the mushroom five it actually has seven different mushrooms in there a lot of them I grow here and I know, and as I'm sure you guys know, when you do a mushroom tincture, you need to double extract it. And if you're not familiar why, um, okay, so you have to go to my website. If you look at the comment right about, above yours where you just put, I'm lost, I do not see anything, look at Anna's comment right above yours. You have to go to that website, timetoheal.net. If you scroll all the way to the bottom of my website, it'll say subscribe. You just have to put your email address in there and subscribe. That's it. And once you subscribe, 
I'll go in there and I'll send you an email with the uh, discount code. Now, that is only good until... No, it's not in Linktree. You can get to my website through Linktree. But once you get to my website, you got to scroll all the way to the bottom of my website. Come on. So anyway, um, double extractions with mushrooms. Mushrooms need to be double extracted because they are full of water, right? But they are known to have a lot of medicinal properties that can only be pulled out with water. They also have medicinal properties that are known and can only be pulled out with ethanol. So you need to do an ethanol extraction and then you need to do that water extraction and that's why you call it a double extraction. What I do though is I take those okay the herbs in here that's called your mark. When you strain a tincture the plant matter that's left over, they call that your mark. So if you were to have mushrooms in here and I strain those mushrooms, okay? And let's say this is the mushrooms, okay? They've already sat in that ethanol for six weeks. You take these mushrooms because you have not yet pulled out all that medicine that can only be pulled out with water because you've only done the alcohol so far. You have to use a high proof alcohol. Nor I use 190, which is only 95, which is only 5% water, 95% ethanol. So you need to do that water extraction. So you have your mark. Remember, it's the plant matter that you strained out of here. You have your plant matter. You're going to put that in a pot of water, okay? Now you're going to start pulling out all that medicine that can only be pulled out with medicine. But what do I do? I go ahead and add a little bit more of herb, uh, mushrooms that I've already dried. And I put that way I'm getting a lot more of those water solu soluble polysaccharides. The medicine that can be pulled out with water. Okay. And then, so that's your third, ex that's your third extraction. No, what am I on? I did this. I have it in the pot. Okay, so now I'm on three because I've got three, um, I'm on my third step. So then we go ahead and we do another with new plant matter. We do another extraction process. But then I combine it all together. So you've got four basic um, extractions. And I think I really confused myself on that explanation. So I know you all are, are confused. You have the ethanol, you're going to the water. When it's in the water, I'm adding new mushrooms along with the mushrooms that were already extracted. I'm going ahead and putting that aside and I'm combining it with the ethanol. Then I'm going ahead and doing another extraction with that same ethanol, adding more new mushrooms. So I've got the water, I've got the alcohol, I've got new mushrooms in there, and I'm going through the process all over again, and I'll do it a whole nother time. That's where it's a quadruple extraction. Did I, I, did I kind of clarify that for you guys? Next time I do a mushroom... I'll show you guys. I've got actually videos on it to show the process. And then because you are pulling out so many times and you've got water, you do need to use a hydrometer. And a hydrometer will measure how much alcohol is in your tincture because that alcohol content is going to determine how long your tincture is going to last. A tincture should last 10 years as long as your content percentages good well thank you very much guys 
Sometimes talking about things when you do in double, triple, quadruple extractions, I can confuse myself when I'm starting to go. That's why I have to have visuals. It helps me keep it straight along with, I'm sure it helps you guys when I say, okay, here's the mushroom one. This is the mark. Now I'm going to take this and I'm going to put... It helps me go through the process too, which I'm sure it probably helps you guys too. So... Anyways, John's walked in and out of here about 20 times. I think he wants to talk to me, but he's afraid to interrupt me and me give him the stink eye, you know, like. <laughs> you know the stink eye. But uh, friends, tomorrow, Posh Mama, she said she wanted me to host it and invite her, so I'm not sure how that's working. Let Think of some other things, guys. Don't let it get boring. Otherwise, you won't want to do any more lives. Um, I know. I gave him the stink eye on the ice cream. Here he comes walking out. He didn't even tell me he was going. He just left. But, uh... Okay, I will. It probably won't be tonight, though, but I did screenshot your name. And your instructions. So I will um, I'll get a hold of you. Friends, tomorrow, 7 o'clock, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. That sale, I believe, that's going on right now for the 4th of July, I think it ends like maybe the Friday, this Friday maybe. Anybody who's ordered... Um, happy 4th of July. It is hot, isn't it? Humid as hell here. Um, and guys, I wanted to share too. I broke down. I ordered another ginger shampoo plant. I am bound and determined to make my own shampoo. I know I can use Bronner's. I know I can. But I really want to go, like make it myself you know what I mean nice to meet you thank you and make sure you follow mostly a name um but anyways I gotta good for you Dr. Bronner's is a natural oh no It's a Castile soap. I do use rice water, Ray Ray, um, right, quite a bit, actually. Um, Dr. Bronner's, it's natural. This is almond, but it's, it's Castile, which is a form of olive oil. Wow. There you go. Um, it gives you your lather, you know what I mean? But here's my plan, friends. Ray Ray, I do use a lot of rice water. My, my grandma was Okinawan, so yeah, I was raised on that. I make my own masks and hair rinses and all that good stuff. Um, but it is very good. I use their toothpaste, Penny. I sure do. And I, I like the cinnamon-ness to it, to tell you the truth. And guys, I ain't gonna lie, my sister got that. You guys seen that purple toothpaste that they have out? I got crappy teeth. Um, they used to be much yellower. They're getting water. Um, I do use the Gurunanda pulling oil mint and uh, mint pulling oil. And I do the water flosser. I recently started doing the water flosser with the concentrated mouthwash but you know that purple stuff that's all going all around uh, TikTok it's like purple and you put it on your teeth and it's supposed to whiten them my god that shit works my sister bought it and of course I had to try it and it worked Nikki are you in the living room Yeah. how much was that purple stuff you got for the teeth She says she thinks it's $21. But it lightened them up, guys. 
I got a cloudy there. I was hoping oil pulling would help. What's it called? His smile is what it's called. H I S smile. But I was hoping the oil pulling and everything would make that go away. Made my teeth whiter. But I think the his, that his smile, really made my teeth whiter. And I've only used it like, I think I'm up, tonight will be my third night or maybe my fourth night that I'll use it. Because I use it at nighttime. So yeah. Can you use it on caps? I'm not sure what you mean there, honey. You mean the, the, I don't know what you mean. On caps. Oh, like fillings and stuff? The toothpaste? I'm sure you can. Yeah. Yeah, because I've got fillings in there. Yeah. I don't have nice looking, the his toothpaste. I'm sure you do. I have. Yeah, I've got caps. I don't have beautiful teeth. So, believe me, I'm not going to be showing my famous teeth. No, 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 no. I got some. And she's 57. I got nice teeth. <laughs> I'll show you my bottom ones. And I've got some that have been pulled. Anyways, let's not talk about teeth. I am not a tooth, a, a tooth person. But I do like negative. Negative. Native. And I do like bra. Uh, what's that other one? Not Dr. Bronner. Yeah, Dr. Bronner's toothpaste. <clears throat> Dr. Bronner's toothpaste is the same Dr. Bronner's? I, why am I just now putting two and two together? Am I that dense? Apparently I am. Hmm. Interesting. You had a, and you've had her place my teeth three times. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I've just, and when you brush with it, you get a brush in circular motions, it says. Like I said, it did. I didn't buy it. She bought it. I didn't buy it. But I had to try it. And TikTok made her buy it. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, but like I said, I do the oil pulling. And the oil pulling has helped. I really like the water flossing. I do. I do the oil pulling. Yep, I sure do. I do that mint, the one that you can see the bottle through. Yep. Or just general. No, I use, um, I use Gurnander's oil pulling. I use the concentrated mouthwash that he makes. I bought his water flosser. I love it. Honestly. Guys, this is I just bought this water flosser. I'd never water floss before. And I love it. Um I've had some teeth pulled. I've got bridges back here, okay? And up here. I've got bridges. I was a tooth grinder many times. Uh, I used to grind my teeth very bad. With the vitamins? Yeah, with all the... It has the five, the oregano, the... You know, hold on. I've got one in the bathroom down here. The coconut and mint one. Yeah, I tried the regular coconut oil. Number one, I am a victim of convenience in our world. This is so much easier. 
it already has all those things in it. You know what I mean? And I like the taste, too. Yeah, I mean, I really do. As a matter of fact, I'm all out in the bathroom upstairs. I'm going to have to buy some more because I try to do it whenever. But honestly, I never do it down here in this bathroom, so it's going upstairs. Um, but the water flasks are friends. So I got bridges, right? And because of the bridges, my teeth has shifted a little bit. Like these middle ones, even using dental floss, sometimes it was so hard to get between those teeth. And it got tender because sometimes, you know, I'm pushing down to try to get because they've shifted a little bit, trying to get that floss in there. Well, then I'm pushing down to get it in there. Well, then it'd go through and then it would like make my gums bleed because that floss hit the gum in just the right way. So I started the oil pulling and I love it. I really do. I really love the oil pulling, excuse me, the water flosser. Um, it's amazing that water can get between the teeth so much easier than that um, dental floss on these front teeth. Because I literally will put my tongue back there to make sure that water's going through. And yeah, I mean, and it's the concentrated mouthwash that he has. So it has all those herbs and vitamins in there. And I, you know, I, like I said, I was hoping it would get rid of that cavity right there. Yeah. But it hasn't. So that's fine. I go to the dentist in August. We'll get rid of it. We'll have to have a... Oh, God, I hate the dentist. I hate the dentist. With the passion. So, you know, what works for some people doesn't work for other people. My promo just posted above and you missed it. I'll email to... Did you subscribe to my... Yeah, Cass. Yeah, it's... I really like the water flossing. I really do. Nighttime... Not just because of the oil pulling, but nighttime... In general, because I brush my teeth in the morning, too, friends. I probably should brush them three times, but I don't. I only do it twice a day. But I enjoy nighttime. Um, cause that is when I'm doing the Monroe effect and I have my whole routine, you know, I get my oil pulling. I'm doing the switching around as I'm cleaning my face and putting my oils on and doing my little things and tapping and trying to get rid of my jowls and just massaging, trying to get that lymphatic system going up, trying to get some of the puffiness away, you know, taking, getting the oil. So the oil's under the eyes you know and doing this stuff I shouldn't have pulled that hard but when you have oil it helps get rid of that lymphatic system and give you my open okay can you message me Yosito Yosi message me on here your email address okay and I'll get it to you I promise when I get off here I'll email you the code okay Ho Hosey? Josie? Or is it a silent like it is in Spanish? Like an H? Hosey or Josie? Put a J or an H, however I should pronounce it. Josie. Okay. Thank you. Yes, and in the morning, even better breath. And when you don't want... Yes! I really do like my routines now. It's gotten into... <coughs> <coughs> A regular team and I'm seeing the benefits and I think that's when you start enjoying those routines can I scratch your throat from talking too much um, when you start seeing the results then you get excited like Anna mentioned I'm excited to start my routine tonight I'm excited every night to put my Monroe effect on because it's like I want this face to do better I want the face to do better guys if you didn't see my before and after pictures, check out my videos. I mean, seriously, is there a way to interact? Hold on, friends. 
I thought there was a way that I could, I don't want to share, I don't want hosts. I know I can do it, I see uh, Raul doing it all the time. I'm going to have to figure that one out, you know it. And where did my my special effects go? Enhance? Okay, maybe. No? Hmm. Sound effects, music, stickers. Oh, effects, Angie. Jimmy Christmas girl. Lord have mercy. Can you dig it? Can you dig it? I knew that's good. All right, sorry. Could you guys see that effect, or was that just me on my side? <laughs> All right. That was a quote from a movie, too. Can you dig it? I knew that's good. It's from, uh, yeah, I needed some groovy music. That was from... Saturday Night Fever. Do you guys remember that show? Saturday Night Fever? Tool. Background. Can I just green screen? Guys, I'm going to have to figure it out. Oh, here we go. Hold on, friends. I love you guys' patience with my Why isn't it doing this? There we go. Oh. <laughs> All right. Did you guys see it pop up there for a minute? I'm trying. I swear I'm trying. Can you guys see that? I hope. Okay. So that was my eyes before. See how dark wrinkles they were? All right. So let's... It went away. Okay. I'm looking up. It's now. So the Monroe effect does help, guys. Consistency, though, you've got to put it on as much as you can, as much as you can tolerate, as much as you can remember. Do it. You know, really. Um, it can help. It really can help. So, but I am going to hop off here, friends. I love talking to you. I could sit here and talk to you all day. I'm looking forward to July 9th. Um, <coughs> <coughs> we're going to be doing our, um, what is that? What do you mean, what is that? The Monroe Effect? Girl. It's a face oil that I make. Oh, is it still here somewhere? I don't know. I keep on seeing it pop up. Go yell at John. I am going to go yell at John. Today, John told me that I yell at him too much. I was so aggravated with him today. I just wanted to ring his neck. Monroe Effect. It is a face oil. I make it out of... So many natural herbs, organic herbs like burdock, andrographis, it has olive leaf, it has dried grape skin, it has dried grape seed, just to name a few of the herbs that are in there. 
All of those are known for specific qualities, proven, tested in clinical labs, proven that they help with skin care. They are the top of the anti-aging. One of the things that, but anyway, I then um, use some really good oils, wonderful, wonderful oils, including black seed oil. Um, and we're going to be coming out with a Monroe Plus that uh, has, has I upped the ante on it, and it's even better. This, though, what I was just showing with the, um, did you see the eye picture of my eyes? What they used to look like. Let's see if we can find another one. Oh, there we go. That was me. What's the date on that? March the 3rd? That's when I, this was my first picture I took of myself before I started taking the Monroe effect. I started taking it in March. You can go look at the video where I make the Monroe effect. I share the recipe and that was in January. By the time it was done processing, this was my first before picture. And this is me now. Anyway. Alright, friends. I'm out of here. Time to heal.net. Subscribe. You'll be notified of sales. You'll get discount codes. Um yeah. So you can get all the tinctures and the oils at timeteal.net, friends. You guys, I hope you had a safe fourth. <gasps> One other thing I have I have to mention, guys. Did you guys hear they found cocaine in the White House? <laughs> Did you guys hear that? Seriously? Who didn't hear that? Did you guys did you guys know that? No, they found cocaine. I'm serious, guys. Go Google it. Go into TikTok. Oh, look, it. it's still showing up here. Go, uh, go, go. They had to call, it happened yesterday. They had to call the hazmat team. They found a white substance in the White House. And they've determined it was cocaine. Why is that shit not all over the news? Seriously. Where did they find it in the White House? It was found in on the West Wing, which apparently is um, where the West Wing, where the president's staff and them are at. And, uh, yeah, I guess Hunter was at the White House a couple days ago. But yeah, true story, friends. I just didn't know if you guys knew that or not. Uh, this evening was in library. No, nothing will happen. Nothing will happen at all. Not a freaking thing will happen. There'll be, you know, the Jean-Pierre, whatever her name is, all she'll say up at the podium is, I can't speak to it from here. I can't discuss that from here. You'll have to get a hold of the White House, the Justice. I must still be hooked to that thing. I look like a dude. Don't I look like a dude? Oh, God, I looked horrible. Um, but, yeah, nothing will happen. The White House will just say, I can't speak to about that from here. Um, you'll have to reach out to the Justice Department or the FBI. I have to reach out to, you'll have to reach out to somebody, but not me. It's 
it's sad. But yeah, guys, research it. Or it'll, you know what will happen? It'll come back and they'll say, no, it was just borax, guys. It was just borax. <laughs> All right, friends. You guys have yourself a good evening. Stay healthy. Buy the Monroe Fact. He sure did, didn't he? I'm like playing like with this. I wanted to show it again. He did ruin it. And I don't know if we can ever get it back to the way it was. It's just going to get worse and worse, friends. I hope not. All right. You did email me. This thing is driving me nuts. Okay, I gotta go. Yes, Justin Trudeau. He's like at the top of the list. All right, guys. Take care. Happy 4th. Never lose our independence, even a little bit. We've got to start protecting our rights. Stay healthy, friends.